Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane and reminisce about the fizzy flavors of your childhood that have since disappeared? They may be in the soda graveyard now, but their legacy lives on. Today, we'll be diving into the fizzy world of lost soda flavors that we just can't seem to forget. From fruity to tangy to sweet and bold, these lost sodas have made their mark on the beverage world and we'll be counting down 10 of the most unforgettable flavors. Without further ado, here are the 10 discontinued soda flavors we all crave. Remember those hot summer days when the only thing that could quench your thirst was a refreshing mellow yellow? The sweet memories of popping open that can and feeling the citrusy goodness wash over you like a cool breeze on a scorching day are simply out of this world. Introduced in 1979 by Coca-Cola to compete with Pepsi's Mountain Dew and Schweppes' Solo, Mellow Yellow quickly became a fan favorite with its zesty lemon flavor and tangy grapefruit kick. But after a while, its popularity dwindled with the rise of energy drinks and it slowly disappeared from store shelves. But rumor has it that Mellow Yellow can still be found in limited quantities in the eastern part of the United States and enjoyed as a fountain drink at select spots, including some Arby's and Cracker Barrels. Now tell us, have you been lucky enough to spot Mellow Yellow? Let us know in the comments below. Who knows, with enough demand, maybe Mellow Yellow will make a triumphant comeback. This soda stormed the beverage scene like a flavor-packed hurricane and left just as quickly. Sprite Remix was a non-caffeinated fruity twist on the classic lemon-lime soda that was introduced to the US and Canada in 2002. With flavors like Aruba Jam and Berry Clear, this drink was the perfect option for those who craved a little more excitement in their refreshment. However, despite its initial popularity, the brand was discontinued in 2005 due to poor sales in both countries. But you won't be missing this soda too much because the Tropical Sprite Remix flavor was introduced for a limited time discontinued, then relaunched in 2016 with the same Sprite Tropical Mix. And it's made exclusively available in some regions in the USA, so you better grab a bottle while you can. Who could forget Coca-Cola's first ever diet soda, Tab? With its catchy name and distinctive pink can, it quickly gained a devoted following in the 1960s among those looking for a low-calorie option that still tasted great. Tab was a pioneer in the diet soda industry, paving the way for countless others to follow. However, the 1970s brought a cancer scare when it was suggested that the sweetener used in Tab, saccharin, was linked to bladder cancer in rats. Although this finding was later debunked, the damage had been done as many people were already afraid of drinking Tab. Sales declined and Tab struggled to compete with an influx of other diet soda options in the 1980s. In 1982, Coca-Cola launched Diet Coke, which eventually replaced Tab as the company's flagship diet soda. As sales continued to decline with Tab, Coca-Cola announced in 2020 that Tab would be discontinued in the United States. While it's sad news for Tab fans, the drink had a good run, lasting over 50 years in a competitive industry. So, farewell Tab, we'll always remember you as the original pink diet soda. Imagine taking a sip of crisp apple-flavored soda after a day of hitting the slopes or hiking in the great outdoors. That was the refreshing experience that PepsiCo's Aspen brought to the market in 1978. This lightly carbonated soda was marketed as the perfect thirst quencher for active individuals and featured images that appeal to adventure seekers. But even with its unique flavor and outdoor-themed marketing, Aspen eventually faced declining sales and was discontinued in 1982. It was replaced with another apple soda from the Slice lineup in 1984. However, for those who remember the taste of Aspen, it remains a cherished memory and a reminder of the innovative marketing tactics soda companies use to stand out from the crowd. If you thought Coca-Cola and Pepsi were the ultimate caffeine-fueled drinks, then you clearly never tried Jolt. This soda promised all the sugar and twice the caffeine making it a favorite of adrenaline-seeking consumers who crave that extra boost. And boy, Jolt absolutely delivered. Its caffeine kick was so intense that it put Coke and Pepsi to shame, with three times the caffeine packed into every can. Jolt's cool and rebellious image only added to its appeal, with edgy branding and a bold name that drew in young consumers looking for a bit of excitement. The soda was like a superhero in a can, the ultimate energy booster ready to save the day. 
But let's be real here, Jolt was not exactly the healthiest choice. It was incredibly sweet, delivering a rush of sugar and caffeine in every sip that was hard to resist. Unfortunately, as more people became health conscious, the idea of drinking a soda with so much sugar and caffeine started to lose its appeal. Plus, the high caffeine content made some people feel anxious or even nauseous, which led to some negative press and criticism. The end of Jolt came in 2009 when the company filed for bankruptcy after it was unable to pay for an order of custom cans. Goodbye Jolt, you may be long gone, but you'll never be forgotten. Back in 1984, PepsiCo introduced Slice, a citrus soda that quickly became a fan favorite due to its unique blend of different fruit flavors. Slice was not only refreshing, but also marketed as a healthy alternative to traditional sodas, containing real fruit juice and fewer calories. As expected, it enjoyed a great level of success, but over time, new brands like Sierra Mist entered the market and the sales of Slice slowly declined. Eventually, Pepsi discontinued the drink in the late 2000s or early 2010s, leaving Slice lovers heartbroken. But don't worry, if you're still craving that taste of Slice, you can find recipes online to make your homemade version to satisfy your nostalgia. This is one epic soda that revolutionized the Mountain Dew game completely. Mountain Dew Revolution was a limited edition soft drink that hit the scene back in 2008. This wild berry flavored soda came packaged in a sleek black can with neon green accents, making it the coolest looking drink on the shelf. PepsiCo marketed Mountain Dew Revolution as a bold new offering for fans of the popular Mountain Dew brand, and soda enthusiasts quickly became hooked on its unique flavor. Despite its initial success, Mountain Dew Revolution was eventually discontinued by PepsiCo after its limited run. The exact reasons for the soda's discontinuation remain a mystery, but it may have been due to declining sales or a shift in marketing strategy. Regardless, Mountain Dew Revolution remains a beloved memory for those who had the pleasure of trying it. Its unique flavor and distinctive packaging made it a collector's item among soda enthusiasts with unopened cans fetching high prices on online auction sites. So, if you happen to have a can of Mountain Dew Revolution stashed away in your collection, hold on to it tightly, you never know what kind of price it could fetch. The 90s were taken by storm when this citrus soda was introduced and became a beloved favorite of many caffeine junkies. With its intense sweetness, retro branding, and extreme caffeine content, Surge quickly became a classic among soda enthusiasts especially young consumers. However, Surge's success was short-lived and Coca-Cola discontinued the soda in 2003. The exact reasons for its discontinuation are unclear, but some believe that the extreme caffeine content combined with its sugary sweetness led to negative health effects and concerns among parents. Despite its discontinuation, Surge has remained a nostalgia-inducing relic of the 90s for many soda lovers. Fans have launched online campaigns to bring the soda back and some have even managed to track down rare cans and bottles on eBay. Do you think Surge will come back bigger and better? Tell us in the comments section below. In 2005, Coca-Cola decided to add some zest to its classic soda with the introduction of Coca-Cola Lime. The refreshing twist on the beloved Coke flavor was an instant hit, with its tangy lime taste perfectly complementing the original formula's sweetness. But, despite its popularity among citrus-loving soda enthusiasts, Coca-Cola Lime was eventually discontinued, leaving fans to wonder why such a unique flavor had to go. Some speculated that the flavor was too niche for the mass market, while others believed that it simply couldn't keep up with the likes of Sprite and Mountain Dew in the crowded citrus soda category. However, for those who fell in love with the unique taste of Coca-Cola Lime, the memory of the soda lives on. Some dedicated soda fans have even created DIY recipes in an attempt to replicate the soda's tangy goodness at home. Who knows, maybe one day Coca-Cola Lime will make a comeback and give soda lovers the zesty fix they've been craving. Until then, we'll just have to rely on our kitchen experiments to quench our thirst for that citrusy goodness. And the number one spot goes to… The 90s were full of wacky ideas, but none quite as wild as Crystal Pepsi. This unique soda became a bold new take on the classic cola, boasting a transparent appearance that was sure to turn heads. It was marketed as a caffeine-free, clear alternative to traditional colas, 
promising a healthier and less sweet option for soda drinkers. But just when it seemed like Crystal Pepsi was going to take over the world, PepsiCo's biggest rival, Coca-Cola, came out with a secret weapon, Tab Clear, in an attempt to kill Crystal Pepsi. Tab Clear was never intended to be a long-term success, as it was simply designed to confuse consumers and make them think that Crystal Pepsi was a bad version of Tab Clear. Unfortunately, Coca-Cola's kamikaze efforts worked and Crystal Pepsi was discontinued in 1994 due to low sales. Another reason for Crystal Pepsi's demise was its lackluster flavor. Despite being marketed as a less sweet and healthier alternative to traditional colas, many people found the taste to be too bland and lacking in depth. Regardless of its downfall, Crystal Pepsi's legacy lives on, as fans still reminisce about the clear, caffeine-free soda that dared to be different. It remains a beloved memory for those who lived through the 90s soda craze, and fans still hold out hope for a comeback, a clear cola revolution that will once again take the world by storm.